Hi YouTube, um, I've posted up quite a few videos now on my kind of fossil collections and um, mineral collections um, and I'll be posting up more in the future because I've got quite a few more um, drawers and things left with fossils in um, but this one tonight, this video is going to be about um, flint tools um, so if you have a look down here okay these are mainly flint tools that I've found locally um, so I'll just show you some here. These ones are, um, some of them are Mesolithic, some of them are Neolithic. Um, but what we've got is mainly kind of, uh, these ones are sort of scrapers. Here we've got, and um, these smaller ones are called um, micro burins. Um, but they've all been napped. And then we've got things here that are more like sort of knife blades and um, arrowheads or flint. Uh, kind of spear tips, that kind of thing. Um, some of them are also called flint cores, which is just like a sort of um, the more sort of rounded ones here, where you can tell that um, flakes have been kind of broken off of all of the edges around them. So these are kind of like the middle bit, and then the scrapers have been broken off of them. Here's some more kind of um, arrowheads here. But yeah, a lot of the tools from this location are quite um, basic. Um, you know, a lot of them are these kinds of just handheld uh, scrapers like these ones you're seeing here that were just used for kind of scraping meat off of um, bones and that kind of thing mainly. There's a few kind of bigger hand axes here. Um, some of the smaller ones Again, these ones here are just uh, mainly big scrapers. Um, but yeah, quite a few of the, uh, the smaller ones have got little tiny notches in them in some of the sides. Um, and they were used for, this one's got quite a good notch here, for example, um, and another notch on the other side. So quite often they would have been attached to um, like a stick or something um, with string you know, to keep it in place. This one's got a good notch, for example. Now quite a few, like the more you look at them sort of close up, the more you spot these little notches where they could have just been attached to a little stick to make it easier to use as a tool. Um, so yeah, all of these are like, like I say, Mesolithic to um, Neolithic. There's another drawer here which has got a lot more in from the same location. Um, I mean, there are various locations in here, but most of them are from the same place that the other one, the other drawers are from. Uh, we've also got, this is, a, this is one that I actually bought. So this is from Kent, and this is a ground axe head. You can see it's all smooth. so that one's quite nice um then we've got this one is from celsi if i can get it out this is a really big um hand tool here the hand axe feels quite nice in the hand actually you can imagine it being used Um, and then there are quite a few other little things that I've bought over the years. So um, these ones here are from Namibia. Um, and these are um, little spear tips and arrowheads. Um, so some of these, they've got like a lot of napping on them. You can see lots of little tiny notches in them. Um, so that's those. And then we've got these arrowheads which are um, notched which are really nice um, a lot of detail in those ones okay and the Namibian ones those are um, middle paleolithic um, those arrowheads are also called hollow base arrowheads um, so they are 280,000 to 50,000 years old um, and we've got some down here. Uh, these are 
archaic Native American Indian. Um, well, they're called arrowheads, but they reckon actually mainly they weren't used as arrowheads. They were, you know, the notches that are on them were just again used for just attaching them to a stick with a bit of string or something. And then they were just used in the hand mainly. Same with these bigger ones. Um, and those are between 9,000 and 4,500 years old. Okay, and I've got some other uh, ones from another location here. Again, mainly like scrapers. You can see the napping in them. You, you get used to these, you know, looking for the <laughs> the napping. Um, some some of the napping is more obvious than others. Um, so let me get out. This is a particularly good one. Let's see if I can hold it and show you it. Okay, so you can see the various faces of it, uh, and you can see that it. Uh, it's very sharp, you know, I've cut myself on these a few times, you've got to be careful. Um, but yeah, they've all, they all show that kind of um, napping. This is a good one because you can see on this side, see the curves? There, and then on this side, you've got the various kind of faces. So loads of napping on this one, this is a particularly good one. Um, obviously the more napping you can see the more obvious it is that it's a tool but when you get used to it you can see even some of the um, the more basic ones where they've only been hit a few times you can still see that they've been napped it just takes a bit of practice um, spotting the ones that are, uh, are real but the location where I got a lot of these from you don't actually it's not a natural location where you find flint so you know basically that anything that you find that is a flint uh, you know came from somewhere else and was brought in makes it a lot easier to know that <laughs> what you're looking at is probably going to be something and just the fact that I found so many you know good ones in this location um, that basically anything that I spot that is a flint I collect at the moment and because I've found quite a few things in the past where I didn't think they were anything at first and then I've gone back and looked through my collections like a couple of years later and gone oh you know because I read something else in a book and I've gone ah, I know what that is now uh, and it actually is something you know so I always try and collect things uh, just in case they are something and usually they are <laughs> Okay, um, if you like this sort of thing, um, I'm going to be posting up other videos of like my other sort of archaeology that I found, um, all the kind of um, things like uh, metal objects that I found, uh, and also things like clay pipes and bits of pottery and that sort of thing. Um, I'll be posting that up in a separate video. Um, but if you hit subscribe, uh, you'll be able to see anything that I post in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.